Hi, I'm Nate Moore. This is Excel Video 235. I've been working this morning on a presentation for Georgia MGMA. If I haven't spoken to your organization lately, I'd love to. What we're going to do today is back off some of the analysis that we've done. And instead, what I want to do is show you this cell styles area on the Home tab and some consistent ways to format your data. To make this work, what I'm going to do is come over here and I'm going to merge these three cells. And I'll show you why in just a second. I've also merged these two titles before I started recording the video, and here's why. Underneath the cell styles menu are a whole bunch of default ways to define a, sty a, a, a style or the way a cell looks with formatting in terms of the shading underneath to the color. And you can see as I hover over Excel, we'll do a bunch of different things to it. We can do this, and the idea is, is to consistently format cells so that when I see something that looks like, say, this, that's bad, or that's good, or when I see this, this is an explanation, or this is a calculation, I better check this, or this is an input. The idea is to consistently format a series of spreadsheets so that when you see a certain format, you immediately know, hey, I need to enter a calculation here, or this is the result, or here's a warning, or something like that. One thing you can do is click title here. That's a little bit big. So we could do a, a title like that, or like that. A heading, heading, let's, let's call this heading one. And if we wanted to make this heading one and this heading one, now I've got a consistent way to start to title or format the way I've got my spreadsheet going. It works in cells as well. You could come in here and say, all right, this is an important cell, so I'm going to make it look like this. Or I need to input this cell. You can do something like this. Or you can come down, and there are some, a couple of more ways to format numbers than you have up here. Percent is here, and the currency and the comma is here. What they have is currency with no pennies and currency with pennies, or a comma with and without pennies, things like that. If you like the idea of styles but don't see what you like, you can always create a new cell style from here. And Excel will bring up a menu that says, give me a name. And you can go to the format and say, this is exactly the way I want it to look. If, on the other hand, you've got cell styles that work for you and you've got them on a different uh, workbook you can always open that workbook and choose an open workbook and bring the styles into here just to make your spreadsheets look consistent the other advantage of using styles is if you come over here and say alright I want to change this the way that all my titles are formatted what you can do is rather than have to find every title on your page you can go to cell styles and come over and say alright I want to change all those to heading two instead or I want them to look like this instead and you can change everything that's formatted with heading one on your spreadsheet at the same time that's the idea of cell styles the consistent way to to describe the cells or to format the cells in your spreadsheet so that just by looking at them folks can see hey this is a key input cell or I can make all my headings look the same just a way to make your spreadsheets look consistent a little more professional that's what I wanted to show you about cell styles today. There are a bunch of options in here. You can play with them as you like. And if you don't like, if, if you like it but it's not quite right, you can always come in and change the theme colors to something like that. And you've still got the same format in the same cell. You just have a different theme color, something like that. That's what I wanted to show you. I hope it was helpful for you. Thanks for watching.